If you love God, prove it. I believe as we grow in God, more is required. Now, you may not have heard this before. You may have not been taught this before, but I believe it to be so true. Myself, as I grow in God, I believe things are getting more strict. There may have been some things that I may have said or done and thought that it was okay to say or do. Now, some of those things, if I was to do or say it now, I may feel convicted over it. For instance, when you were a baby, did people, how can I say that? <laughs> when you were a baby, did many people or did people in general expect a lot from you? So when you were an infant, did people expect a lot from you? Probably not. But as you started to age, as you started to grow up, I believe perhaps some people required more from you. Why? Because you are growing. You are no longer a baby. You are growing up. We have to be careful in what we say or do. You may say, Kevin, what I want to say doesn't seem bad. What I want to do doesn't seem bad. What I want to think doesn't seem bad, but Are you having a guilty conscience over it? Are you? I believe the Holy Spirit can place thoughts into our mind. I believe the Holy Spirit can, I guess you can say, communicate to us <laughs> to our thoughts and conscience. I believe that. I believe demons can do the same thing as well. A person may say, well, how would you know if it is the Holy Spirit placing thoughts into your mind or demons placing thoughts into your mind? Okay. From my understanding, we have to judge it based upon the Bible. What is that thought about? What is the end result of it? 
if it is going to build up strife, hatred, so on and so on, chances are, I believe, that thought may be from demons. If a thought comes to your mind and it is going to generate peace, love, happiness, so on and so on, I believe that thought is coming from the Holy Spirit. Now, you may have to preach or teach or do something to where you have to tell some people something that may make them mad. But in general, I guess I can say, if a thought comes to your mind to do something that is not right, that is not going to generate peace, more than likely, that thought is coming from demons. I truly believe this. For instance, I was messaging a person and in the beginning, I believe I thought what I was messaging to that person was not really bad. I don't believe I used any curse words. I don't believe I really insulted that person. I don't believe so. But I forget how everything was. But when I wrote some things or when I messaged that person some things, I felt bad about it. Like I felt convicted of, of what I messaged to that person. And I believe what I messaged to that person was not wrong. But for some reason, I was still feeling guilty about it. So I believe I apologized to that person and I repented as well. I believe as you grow in God, more is required. I believe as we grow in God, we have to become more and more holy. So I guess you can say we can't get away with the stuff that I guess we would get away with when we were on a lower level in God. I believe that. So I guess what I am trying to say, we can't base things on how we feel about what we said or did. Of course, we have to go by what the Bible says. But I believe if you have a relationship with God, I believe you may know how the Holy Spirit, I guess I can say, communicates to you. We have to be careful. Now, let's say you are on a higher level than another person. 
they may think that what you said or thought or did is not wrong. Why? Perhaps their understanding is not there yet or their understanding is not as broad as a person that has more wisdom in their relationship with Jesus Christ. So if you are having a guilty conscience about saying or doing something, you have to judge it with the Bible. And if you are wrong, repent. Make sure you are showing love to other people. God bless you.